Hello. This is my second year at Utica High School as a school resource officer. Uh, things are going great. I absolutely love my job. I love coming to work every day. The uh, atmosphere here at Utica High School is really amazing. Between the student body, between the administrators, between the teachers and the relationship that the school has with the police department, it really is a great environment to be a part of. What's up, crew? How are you? The job of a school resource officer, first and foremost, is to keep the building and everybody in it safe. I'm here every day that the kids are here. I'm a resource for the students if they have any questions about law enforcement, if there's anything going on at school, outside of school, that the police need to know about in order to keep the situation under control and keep the kids safe. That is my primary reason for being here. Hey, ladies. A day in the life of a school resource officer here at Utica High School, typically I come to work, get here at the building around 6.45, 6.30, 6.45. Uh, the kids are still coming into the building. I'll check my email, I'll check my uh, inbox to make sure there's nothing in there that I need to deal with. I'll uh, greet the kids as they enter the building. Uh, usually I'll be out front by our new traffic light on Shelby Road, just making sure that the crossing guard has everything that he needs. You know, there's no issues out there that I need to deal with. I'll walk the entire perimeter of the school, checking all the doors, making sure everything is secure, making sure that there's nobody in the building that shouldn't be here. And I'm uh, in the halls with the kids, available for their questions, available as a resource for the staff, for whatever uh, needs they may have for the police department. And yeah, it really is a good, uh, good environment to be a part of. How's your day going, all right? Did you have a nice weekend? Great, man. Excellent. Relaxing, sipping in. Yeah. One more class. Got to sleep in. Nice. Yeah, how about you? How about you? What I love the most about me, uh, my job is being avail available to the student body. Oh, close. People ask me why I became a police officer. You know, my, I don't want to say my standard response, but I've always been a firm believer that I wanted to be in a position to help people, to make people's lives better, to make people's day a little bit better. And I have that opportunity here at Utica High School. It's uh, every interaction, well, more interactions I have with the students are positive than in a negative way. What's up, Ollie? How are you? It's not, we're not interacting because, you know, I pulled somebody over because we were responding to a call for service at somebody's house or something like that. You know, it's, it's more of a positive interaction that we have. Morning, Lori and I have that relationship with the uh, students where they can you know, ask me questions and I'm able to feel like I can give advice and kind of guide them along their paths to make their you know, choices a little bit easier for them. A lot of issues that are brought to me as a school resource officer are brought by the kids. A lot of them have things to do, you know, things to do with outside the school, things happening after hours, at work, maybe at sporting events, things that are going on online, things like that that I need to be a part of in order to uh, diffuse them or deal with them before they become a bigger problem. Um, here at the school, I get a lot of uh, things that, more like a, a resource, just talking to the kids, answering questions that they may have, being a guest speaker in classes, you know, just making myself available for whatever they may, uh, they may uh, have. So I feel it's important to make that connection with the students at this level, at this age group, because a lot of them, they've never had an interaction with the police department in any capacity. And if they have, chances are it was a traffic stop or something negative, you know, where I'm trying to make that a positive relationship so that they feel free talking with the police department to see, you know, one, we're people too. Two, we're the good guys, you know, we're here for them. And be able to get them to trust us at that level, you know, given all the negative publicity and everything going on out there that's on the news and social media going around, you know, I feel that I can best combat, combat that by showing that, you know, we're, we're people too. We are the good guys and we're, we're here for them. Hey Savannah. Hi. What's up, Eddie? Well, in year two, I'm just looking forward to continuing what we started in year one. Um, I got the relationship with the students down. I got the relationships with the teachers down. You know, we're kind of over that initial period. We're still trying to, to learn who we are, to, you know, figure each other out. You know, they feel comfortable working with me, and I certainly feel a lot more comfortable working with them. And, uh, yeah, they've, they're coming to me with more questions, you know, asking different, you know, situations, things like that. You know, a lot of them are, are traffic related, you know, like, oh, can I turn right on red here, if, you know, whatever the case may be. But that's good because we built that relationship. You know, we're to the point where they feel comfortable coming up to me and giving me information and asking me questions like that. So just looking forward to continuing that great relationship we already have. Mm -hmm.